Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 51 in chapter 10. Chapter 10 is about rotational motion. In this problem, we talk about Art Wood's machine. At Art Wood's machine, you can see there is a pulley, and it has two objects, A and B, right? And then for each, for these two objects, it's connected by a string. And the, it moves up for A, and B move down. Now, we need to find the acceleration for this art with the machine for each line. So how can we do that? First one, we do force analysis for each object. See, for A, we must consider gravity and tension from the string. For B, there is gravity and tension of the string. And on the pulley, we can see at two sides, we still have the tension for A and the tension for B. Right? Now, we need to consider this pulley can rotate. When it rotate, we have the torque, and the torque for this pulley is the net force, Cf, Tb minus Fta times R. Do you agree? Do you agree? Yeah, this is a force times R equal to I times alpha. This I is momentum of a ratio for this pulley. Alpha is angular acceleration. And this angular acceleration has a relationship with linear acceleration, this one, right? The linear acceleration is just uh, the acceleration for the string. So acceleration A equal to R times alpha. Now we have this two uh, function to solve the linear acceleration A. If we want to solve it, it looks like we need to find alpha. If we want to find alpha, it looks like we need to find the difference between Tb and Tx. Is there any way we can do that? Sure. First one, we look at object A. We apply the Newton's second law. See, the net force for object A, Fta minus Mag equal to mass times acceleration. In this way, we get the Fta. And the second one, we have the gravity Mbg minus the tension Ftb equal to mass B times acceleration. In this one, we get Ftb. Now we input Ma, Mta, and Mtb inside in this function. And then we input it there times R. And alpha can be read as acceleration divided by R. We solve this equation. We get the linear acceleration equal to this one, right? This function. We can say if the I equal to zero for pulley, so the acceler linear acceleration becomes this one. It's become more simple. Thank you.